Hey, hey, kiddos, it's Tango with Sue. We've got something very exciting for you today. I'm so excited. So, but as always, there is a story. There always has to be a story, you guys. So if you are watching the replay and you're like, oh my God, if you're watching this on YouTube or anywhere else, you're like, I don't need a story, Sue. Just get to it. I'm just going to say, scroll because I have to tell a story. I have to tell it. Welcome, everybody. I am Tanglewood Sue. I'm here with you today from uh, Mount Rainier, Maryland. I always forget to say where I am. Hello, TikTok. Hello, Facebook. If you guys, I'm seeing some comments over here. Facebook, if one of you can comment, make sure we have the stream coming on. You know, you know that makes me happy. Heather! <laughs> Heather, you already know this story, but I have to tell it. I have to tell it. So, welcome, everybody. Um, as some of you know, Heather, who is on here uh, with Grace on Broadway, uh, contacted me a few months back about um, creating some art for some decoupage papers, you guys, which was very, very, very exciting. Um, she didn't give me a whole lot of time, but I love you anyway. Uh, but I got it done. I got it done. And part of the way that I got it done was to use, uh, to create a brand new piece of artwork, which I'm going to show you today to use a piece of artwork that I'd already sold to someone in my community, luckily who I was friendly with, and I called up and said, hey, can I borrow my painting back? I need it. And he said, okay. And then I also had a third piece that I'm also gonna unveil today because it's all come back to me um, from Heather. So basically, as some of you know, I have a bit of a phobia well, no, I have to back up. The papers came out, the papers came out, and we're all posting it and reposting it. There are about, how many of us, Heather, how many artists did you, um, did you, did you team up with? So we're all getting paid, we're all getting reimbursed, we're all getting, like, she is such a doll to work with. She really just loves artists and loves what we do and loves supporting us. Thank you. Um, but, uh, so we're all, like, sharing, 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 and then the papers come in, and she's like, I'm sending them out. And I'm like, oh, my God, oh, my God. Um, I've never had anything of mine, like, printed that way. Like, it's very exciting. So they're all sending out, and I'm on Facebook, and, and everybody's getting their papers. And I'm like... And then Heather sends me a UPS code, and uh, it says, it says Poolsville, and, and I'm in Hyattsville, so I'm, I'm kind of like, and, and, for this story, you guys, hey, Kelly, hey, Betty, the last time she sent me decoupage papers was in a tube, okay? I just want to put it that way. It was in a tube, and I got a UPS confirmation that it had been delivered to Poolsville, which is somewhere else in Maryland. I don't know where. So I call up Heather. I'm like, I didn't get my paper. I think everybody else has their paper. And everybody's like doing lives and they're showing off their papers. And I'm like, I don't have mine. And she's like, oh my gosh, she feels so bad. And she's trying to help me find my paper. And we're like tracking UPS. So now I need to um, preface this next part by explaining that some of you have heard my stories about what happened with me with the IRS like 10 years ago. And suffice it to say, I... I'm scared of my mailbox. I don't get my own mail. I make my husband get it and go through it so that I can't be triggered by some catastrophic event again. So yes, you've probably guessed it. About four days go by and my husband, he's not really good at checking the mail, comes in with a package. And all of a sudden I was like, it's addressed to me and it's from Heather. Oh my God. <laughs> I forgot to check the mailbox. I didn't think it would be in the mailbox. I didn't think it would be in the mailbox. I was thinking it'd be in a tube. Here it is. Here it is. I had to text Heather immediately and say, and she's like trying to find it. And I'm like, no, I'm just an idiot. It's here. So, and then she texts me and she's like, what did you think? And I'm like, I don't know. I haven't looked at it yet. You know why? Because we're going to look at it together. We're going to look at it together. So um, if you're just jumping on here, rewind and you're going to hear the whole story. So, okay. So let's think about this. Y'all tell me, I need you to vote. Do you want to look at it with me for the first time and then me show you the actual art? Or 
should we open up the art and then I'll, I, I can kind of, I can kind of peek and pull out that paper. What do you guys think? Cheryl, I swear, I don't know if you know that whole story and I will not belabor the point, but suffice it to say, it was 2012, the shit was hitting the fan, everybody was after money, the IRS is after money, uh, nobody had any money, I'm living in the Bay Area and everybody's broke and, and I closed my business, okay? my play cafe business that I had, Sadie Days, and um, while I wait for you guys to vote. Thank you for sharing. Vote, 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 vote. Live together. Let me know, let me know. Long story short, we did birthday parties. For five years, we hosted birthday parties, and the IRS taxation rules at that time were they were a service and they were not taxable, okay? Are you with me? Show the paper first? Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, they changed the code and then decided to come after this small business person because they know I can't afford a lawyer. And they went back uh, because I gave a free pizza with the parties that, that I paid tax on. Suffice it to say, they billed me for $32,000. Mic drop. Um... They changed the law. They retroactively went back and charged me for everything because I gave a $10 free pizza to the party. That changed everything and made every single party taxable for the last five years. They went back into a machine and found every party I'd ever hosted on a Wayback Machine. Did y'all know that existed? And um, I got uh, billed uh, a lot of it. And uh, so I don't go to, I don't go, I don't, I don't open my own mail. I don't go to the mailbox because <laughs> I'll throw up. <sighs> You had a pain so bad, the same day. thing, Cheryl, we're going to have to talk. All right, but we're going to let all that go. Do you know why? Because it's all a blessing. We're going to take the win because now I am through with paint cafes and play cafes. My kids are grown. They're amazing. Sadie just bought a truck, and I'm an artist, and I just got hired to make art to put on other people's furniture, and I'm going to take the win on that. Yes, let's do it. Ready? Ready? Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh, you guys. I hope you order this. Okay, we're going to pull it all out and we're going to open the first one. So, Heather said, all we need is one painting and we will come up with companion papers. And I was like, do you know who you're talking to? I'm giving you all three because I'd had this idea of making decoupage. Oh my God. I'm so glad I wore this shirt. I'd had an idea for years of doing decoupage papers with multiple patterns that you guys could mix and match. Heather, how the heck? This is the most beautiful print. I mean, I'm in shock. I can't believe you got the colors. Amazing. You were going to hold up the actual artwork. All right, I'm going to set this down. I'm not going to look. And then we're going to pull back. This is it, kiddos. This is it. Oh my goodness. Perfect. We are just in time for summer. Like, I didn't know how I would feel having every stroke represented on paper forever and ever. And I still don't know how I'm going to feel when the first person besides me uses this as a decoupage paper. I'm going to be like, oh, I wish I changed that one stroke. Or, oh my God. Da, 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 da. Um, but I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to hold it up for TikTok. You can see even the paper, sorry for all the paint. You guys, you can even see this print is so good that you can see the canvas that I printed on. The canvas that I printed on. So it's slightly transparent. Um, and here's the idea, and I'm gonna be doing a bunch of lives with these. Here's the idea. So the reason I did it this way, I hope you guys can see it. I tried to make sure the light was right on me, even though it's a little transparent, is the bottom part, I just did kind of my signature wave, right? The Tanglewood Sioux kind of waves. But the idea of this is that if you have a dresser, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not, um, let me remove you. If you have a dresser that's slightly larger, one of my pet peeves is the paper not fitting the piece. And I know, I know a lot of people do a really amazing job of painting around the edges to make it blend, but I wanted to make it easy on you. So the idea is you can take any of these colors, so I put a lot of them in there, and you see how that like 
ends right there. Like, you guys can finish the swoop. Finish the swoop. Finish all my swoops. Paint over all of it. Just use this as tracing paper. What do I care? I just want you to have fun. I just want you to have a good time. So you can have these go out. You could even have this go on the side of a dresser and wrap all the way around the way I did the other piece in the other room that I can't go get right now. Okay? So thank you, Melissa. Then I did the, I did the top. Um, in these swirly patterns, and my thought here was that, again, y'all, finish the swirl. Finish it. Keep going. Just do whatever you want to do with it. I'm just, I'm really thrilled, and I cannot wait to see how you guys interpret this paper, because it's not meant to be, like, just slap it on. You can, but you don't have to, and I will not be offended. I will also be thrilled if you add in new colors. I was thinking, like, imagine if you were like, Sue, I love it, but I'm more pink than purple. Or my room, I just want it to be more greens. Paint over it. Change the swoops to be different colors, right? So anyway, all right, so this is number one. So what I want to do, I'm going to go set this down, and I'm going to pull up, I'm going to pull up, hopefully, the right package. Heather, I don't know which one's which. Let me set this down real quick, and I'll pull them back up at the end. So that was the paper, and I just want to show you kind of the original. Do you guys have any questions? And I'm gonna, um, I'm also going to show you the other two designs because it's really interesting how Heather was able to use what I gave her. It was very, it's a very unique situation. So hopefully, I'm opening up the right one. I didn't do this ahead of time because you know, drama, drama. You want to have fun? You never know what you're going to get. You never know if I'm going to stab myself with scissors, fall off a ladder. Did y'all see my show last week where I knocked the light, like, onto my head? I literally stepped out of the way. I didn't get hit, actually. I'm exaggerating. Don't let the truth get in the way of a good story. Uh, but if I hadn't had the reflexes of a ninja, um, it would have been an issue. All right, let me see if this one's... I have to see which one this is. Okay, this is it. Yay. Okay. All right. So, we packed these so good, didn't we? We did. All right. So, this was the original painting. La da da. La da da. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys are here with me. Heather, when Heather's like, have you opened it yet? I'm like, why would I open it by myself, darling? I, this is for all of us to share. We're all taking the win. You guys have supported me all these years and helped follow me. And that's how everybody knew that I existed. That's how you found me. So, Y'all, I hope this is, uh, sorry, I gotta lean it up against something. There we go. Okay, so here. I think I can slide it out. Yes. All right. So here is the original. Girl, you take this so good. Maybe I should have pre-done this, right? Or does it just add to the suspense of my life? Okay. 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 Almost. We're almost there. Ta-da! This is it. So here's the actual painting. This is the painting. Didn't she do a good job? So keep in mind, this is going to be a lot brighter. Why? Because this is on a white base. This is on a white base. Oh, yeah. And this is for sale. I have to put it for sale. I forgot. Oh, my God. I can sell it now. Hold on. This is blown out. Hold on. Um, Facebook, I am going to bring down the brightness ever so slightly because it's washed, it's washed out. There we go. Is that better? Is that better? Okay. So anyway, this is it. I'm super pleased. I'm super proud. And I thank you guys so, so, so much. Okay. So that's number one. Now we're going to look at the other ones. Okay. This one. So the companion paper. So they're together. Let me see if I can kind of hide one. Okay. Here, I'm going to show you. So here, 
I don't want you guys to see yet. I don't want you guys to see. All right, so here's the, here's the other companion. Do you guys remember this one? Do you guys remember this companion piece? It was from Mama Turbulence and Baby Turbulence. Thank you guys so much for sharing. I really appreciate that. I can see the numbers go, ooh, ooh. And I can only imagine it's because you guys are sharing right now. So this paper, hold on. I shouldn't have set the other one down because I want you guys to see how they're going to work together. I have to be honest with you guys. I haven't decoupaged with this kind of paper before. This is going to be a whole new adventure. I don't even know what I'm supposed to use. So it'll, we'll all be learning together. All right? So this companion paper. So what are you going to do with this? Whatever you want, you guys. You can chop this up into little pieces. You can use this on the drawers. You could do something with this on the top. You could cut off the swirls and do that. It's whatever you want to do to make it your own. Um, you could even like put this, cut this in little pieces and put it, I, I don't know. I don't know. I just want you to have fun with it. So this one came, I want you guys to see how amazingly, did y'all see where I put the scissors? Thank you. Um, Heather was able to do this. Now, I've put the link. Um, so I wasn't the only artist. There were about 10 of us, I think, maybe more. So the link is in, hopefully is in, it's in my bio on TikTok. Okay, it's at the bottom, uh, link in bio. And on Facebook, I put it on the live, on the title. It's on the title, okay? So if it's not there for some reason, then I will go put it there after the live. We'll make sure I'm doing this right, okay? I'm not known for my opening ability. John is probably like, my sister's probably laughing her shit off right now watching me. Okay, we're going to get this. Now this one is the one, I can't mess this one up. I can't be so crazy with this one. Because this is the one I actually have to give back to the guy who bought it. He bought it last summer. And um, I should leave it wrapped up for him, but, you know, it's art. All right. Oh, we're going to have fun cleaning that up. Facebook, you can't see because I'm in horizontal mode. There is shit all over the floor right now, and I mean all over. Okay, so this one, this one you can't buy because it's already sold. Um, but I can make you your own. I can make you your own. I'd be happy to. Look at that. See how it's sparkly and glistening? I just, oh my God, I, this is one of my favorite ones I've ever done. Um, <laughs> so this one went with, I don't want to mess this up, this one. So these two sold as a set, and they're called Mama Turbulence and the Baby Turbulence. So if you guys want me to make you some of these this summer, remember I can't do these in the winter um, because I need, I need sunshine, I need heat. I need, like, I need to be out, oh my god, we're just going to keep doing that. I need to be out with the sun hitting because I need it to dry pretty fast for the effect to work. Okay, so last but not least, this one is, I don't know how, this is going to be really fun. I don't know how she was able to do this. Where do I buy it? I just got to, do, 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 do. girlfriend, link in bio. If you go TikTok, I'm talking to you. Go to my, go to my page. Go to my bio, go to the link, tanglewoodsue.com slash links. Down at the bottom, it says new decoupage paper, and it's called Meet Me at the Sea. That's it. That's how you buy it. Um, if you're on Facebook, the link should be in the description right now. If it's not, you have the same link. You guys go to my regular page, Tanglewood Sue, and then you go to the about, and then it has all the links, and instead of it going to my website it goes to a landing page so I've put all the things that I'm talking about more recently TikTok wants to know about swamp mud oh my god I'm blowing up with swamp mud over there so that's there you know the all my Amazon favorites everything that I kind of am using in my most recent videos I know you guys aren't going to search my website for I know you I love you 
but I know you and you're not going to do it. So I make it easy. I make it easy. All right. Now the last, <gasps> you guys look at this. Oh my God. I haven't seen it up close. Is that gorgeous or what? Now keep in mind, that's why I did this against the white wall here. So you can kind of see, can you guys kind of see that? No, you can't see that. You can't see anything. You can't see anything. Let me take some other art down. Okay, there you go. Do you see that better? So, Heather, I can't believe you got, I can't believe you got all that detail. I'm so wickedly impressed. So let me tell you where this came from. Can you guys guess? Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Honey, you can ask me where to buy it all day long, and I will be thrilled. Tango Sue doesn't drive by and honk anymore. I haven't seen you out there, Nick. I will honk on my way home today. I haven't seen you. I've seen your beautiful garden, though. Okay, now, you guys, this isn't a painting. But I'm touched that you miss me, so I'll make sure I honk. This one, so when I wanted to do the last painting, I was like, I do not have time to paint another painting. Um, oh, and if you're on YouTube, same thing. The link's in my bio. I'm just going to tattoo it on my face. The link backwards. The link's in my bio. I hope this one didn't break. Feels pretty good. Doesn't feel like it broke. Even if it did, I would forgive you because it's already been made in infamous. I'm sorry, I gotta be careful right now. Oh, yes. Okay, so the paper came from this alcohol ink that I did. And you might be wondering, Sue, why did you mess with this? <laughs> because I'm a controlling bee, man. Because I'm like, I want this part. Let me show TikTok up close. This is the part that I wanted. This part I, I love, but I didn't wanna turn it into paper. So, can you guys see that? Sorry, it's getting a little shadowed there. Can you guys see that? I mean, I have pictures of this on my website too. But she was able to photograph that and turn it into the paper. I don't know how you did that. I really don't. But I'm, I'm thrilled that you did. So, so, let me hold them all up. That's it, kiddos. Now I gotta clean up all this mess. I get so excited, I make all these messes. So, oh, let me show, I showed you this one against the white. I forgot why I put myself against this wall for this specific reason. Now, I have Miss Lillian's decoupage case. I guess I could also use Mod Podge. Y'all, well, I have not decoupaged with actual decoupage paper. Ever. I've always used napkins or leftover bits of things. I've just never done it. Y'all are gonna have to teach me how to use my own paper. All right, I don't wanna poke a hole in it because I have all these things. Can you guys see it better now? So that's how it will be. And it's um, 24 by 36. 24 by 36. So I'm gonna go find, I gotta find, I wanna find a dresser that's about this size. I have some that are too small and I have some that are too big, but I'm gonna play around with it. Do you guys have any questions for me? Any questions, darlings? Um, I know she really, she really did me a solid on getting these um, colors really to be so true, so true. And uh, I'm just really honored to be in this lineup. All right, so I'm gonna be posting a TikTok in just a second that has a montage of all the artisans because you buy from any of them. If this is not your cup of tea, that is okay. You don't, however, need to leave it in the comments. <clears throat> YouTube, I've been going crazy on YouTube this week with my shorts. I don't know why people feel the need to express every opinion they have about my art. If you don't like it, that is totally okay, but you do not need to take time out of your important busy life to write me a note that says that is but ugly. I don't need to know that. I don't need to know that that's in your heart. It doesn't matter to me. I don't care. 
I just block and delete you. So, uh, but, but it's okay. If this isn't for you, there's like, so many other uh, papers that just came out. There's the Victorian house and there's this beautiful watercolor and there's this really BJ Butcher did this amazing like face that's just very uh, nouveau art modern. Um, I'm forgetting I'm forgetting a lot of them, but they're just they're stunning all of them. So if you don't if you don't dig mine, that's okay. Buy somebody else's, but buy with my link. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh, Betty. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, yes. We, I kind of started this style during COVID. During COVID, doing the boho flowers and then the ocean and then the hummingbird flew into my painting. That was kind of the first time I did that. So, anyway, it'll keep evolving and keep changing as I learn as an artist. Um, but anyway, you guys have a great day. And um, I don't, uh, what do you, uh, Dusty says, I love how you aren't afraid of color. I feel like adults are trained um, to avoid color. I think so, too. <laughs> I think so, too. Like, when we're little, they give us the whole crayon pack. And then when we're adults, they give us just, like, the shades of grayish. Here's your, here's your neutrals. And I'm like, where's the chartreuse? Where's the blue-green? Where's the green-blue? I put those together. Where are they? They're gone. They're gone. I brought them back for you. I brought them back for you. Yes, shy away. I figured it out. I figured it out, baby. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so, so, so much for joining me. I have to go honk at Nick on the way home. My insomnia is back. So I am, I am going home and uh, going to bed. And I'm going to see if we can get through the night today. We're going to try. We're going to try so hard. And I know that going to bed at 6 is not going to help. But since I'm up every three hours, I'm going to give myself another three hours on the front end to see if I can sleep from six to nine, then be up from nine to one, then maybe sleep from one to three, then be up from three to six. And then am I making you exhausted? Welcome. Welcome to my sleep insomnia. Anyway, but I'm happy to be here and, uh, and I'm going to go honk at Nick. All right, you guys. Thank you so, so, so much. I'll post uh, the TikTok in just a second. Bye, kiddos. And... And, 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 let me just make sure I didn't miss any, um, hey, Pam, any comments with you guys? Hello, Cheryl, hello, Chastity, rock on, so nice to see you, all these familiar, Faith, hey, darling, Kathleen, I love seeing you guys all on here, so I hope that you will, um, I hope that you guys will order and show me what you make. Okay, and I'll put the link if it's not already there. Have a fantastic day. We'll be back in action on Thursday, uh, working on this insane dresser that I've started. Um, watch my reels. Just go watch the reels. You will see. You will see what's happening. You will be. In... <laughs> That's all I can say about them, you guys. All right, have a good one. Oh, Marilyn's here. Have a good one, kiddos. Mwah. Bye.